20 things you probably didn't know about Super Smash Brothers Melee! Have two controllers plugged into the first and third port. Have player 1 hit the back button at the same time that player 3 hits the name entry button. If done correctly, you should be taken to the stage selection screen. Now have player 3 hit any stage and you'll be fighting against Master Hand. In a team battle, set all four players to the same character and put them on the same team. It won't let you start the battle, but if you do the same technique we did to get Master Hand, you can get to a stage. That is, having player 1 hit back at the same time player 3 hits the name entry. Because there are only three versions of the same color, light, normal, and dark, the game makes the fourth color completely black. Have you ever wondered what the most powerful move in the game is? We'll just go into giant melee with Mr. Game & Watch, Ness, and Roy. Have Ness fill up Mr. Game & Watch's bucket with three PK flashes. Now use the bucket on Roy's counter, and bam! If Ness PK thunders into Jigglypuff Sing, he just sort of stops. If Ness uses PK Thunder and falls into Jigglypuff Sing, he'll go to sleep like normal, but will remain electrified. Samus has a unique technique called the Super Wave Dash that involves her down special. To do this, use her down B, and on frame 41 of the move, tilt your control stick in the opposite direction that she's facing. Then on frame 42, tilt it back the other way. And if done correctly, you'll perform the Super Wave Dash. Samus also has an extended grapple for grabbing. To do this, grab like normal and input these buttons as quickly as possible. If done quickly enough, her grapple will increase in size. Now to actually use it, you have to hold the L button to home in on your foes, and then press the A button to grab them. This is called the stock glitch, and is done as follows. Pick a character, and then hover over another character, and perform the following inputs. These inputs reset the game, while also changing the color of the character. So now when you go back into the character selection screen, you will have your original character, but with a different image. In this case, Dr. Mario with Yoshi's image. Now going into the match, you will be your original character, but with different stock icons. Captain Falcon has two taunts, depending on which way he's facing. Pichu has two taunts, depending on which way he's facing. If you fully charge your needles as Sheik, then transform into Zelda and back, she'll keep all of her needles. Have Kirby get Yoshi's ability and use it on him. If you mash out of the egg extremely quickly, then Yoshi will be slightly smaller when he breaks out. You can keep doing this over and over again until Yoshi is only a few pixels big. Did you know that win boxes actually existed in Melee? Well, sorta. Mario's cape and Ganondorf's up tilt have somewhat of a win box. If you use these moves on characters like Peach and Zelda, their dress and hair will softly flow through the air. It's quite useless, but pretty cool. Peach can pull different kinds of turnups with her down special some of which do different damage and have different possibilities of being pulled.
The rarest thing she can pull is the Beam Sword, which has a 1 out of 768 chance of being pulled. In version 1.0 of Melee, Young Link can cancel his Air Grapple if his Boomerang returns to him. This can be used to give you a slightly better recovery. To do this, throw your Boomerang down, and then Air Dodge diagonally up and grapple. If done correctly, he should meet his returning boomerang while his grapple is out, thus cancelling it and moving him ever so slightly closer to the stage. An important note is that you have to tilt throw the boomerang or it won't work. To practice tilt throwing, as opposed to smash throwing, go to the top platform of Battlefield and throw the boomerang down to the other platforms. If it barely misses, you're doing it right, but if it hits the platform, you're smash throwing it. In version 1.0 of Melee, Link and Young Link have a super jump that they can do if their boomerang returns to them as they are hanging off from their grapple. When this happens, they will be shot up high into the air. However, Young Link can go much higher if you press the B button right after the boomerang returns. A really hilarious example of Young Link's super jump can be found on Axe's YouTube channel, which I will leave a link for in the description. Mario's and Dr. Mario's ledge attack can be cancelled using the cloud from Yoshi's Story. Just perform the get-up attack as the cloud is coming over and they will re-grab the ledge. This move still has a hitbox as well. Fox and a few other characters can do something similar, but they don't re-grab the ledge afterward, making it not as safe or practical for offensive tactic. Dr. Mario's up B can be cancelled, which looks like this. To cancel his up B, smash the control stick in the opposite direction within the first three frames of the move. If done correctly, his up B will cancel. If done too late, all that will happen is that his up B will be reversed. Mario also has a cool trick with his up B. He can actually wall jump after his up B, which gives his recovery a lot more options. To do this, input the wall jump between frames 25 and 29 inclusively. This means you have 5 frames to do this, so it's not as difficult as Dr. Mario's, but will still require good timing. Every character's tech in place has 6 frames of vulnerability before they can do anything. However, Pikachu and Pichu are the only two characters whose tech in place has only 2 frames of vulnerability, making it harder to punish. That's all for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed and even learned something new about Melee. Feel free to leave a like and or subscribe to the channel for more Smash videos. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.